<laughs> Welcome back to our final activity today. It's activity number four. And for this activity, we're thinking about one of my most favourite insects. It's a butterfly. And butterflies can be found all over the world. <clears throat> we find lots and lots of ant air butterflies in our country. Some of them are quite small, or some of them are a bit larger. But around the world, some butterflies can be huge. Now, as you can see, their patterns are stunning. All of the patterns are so, so different. And these are just a few of the butterflies that we can find around the world. So for our activity today, you are going to be creating your own butterfly pattern. So for this activity, you're going to need some paper. Just plain paper is fine. You can use large paper if you want to, or coloured paper. Um, you're also going to need some paint, some paint brushes, and some water as well. Okay, so first thing you need to do is you have to fold your paper in half, okay? Like this. Let's have a go at folding yours, Gracie. There we go. We're going to fold it in half. Good girl. Oh, just adjust in half. Just in half, like this, lovely. That's it, okay? And then open it up. So it should look a little bit like a birthday card or like a book. That's it, open it up now. Now, can you see this line right down the middle? This folded line? Yeah. This is going to be what we call our mirror line, which is a bit like the body of the butterfly down the middle. And we're going to paint some patterns. We're going to paint some patterns on one side of our paper, okay? So only one side. If you paint on two sides, then you won't see the magic. Okay, so just paint on one side. So we're going to use our paint brushes. I'm going to use some orange first of all. Let's have a go at painting yours. There you go. And you can do whatever patterns that you like. Here you go. So you can do whatever patterns that you like. You could do spots or stripes, all kinds of things. I'm just going to splodge my paint around. Because the best bit about this activity is you just get to see what happens at the end. And if the colours mix together a little bit, that doesn't matter, that's okay. In fact, have a look at what happens. See what happens when the colours mix together. That's a good... Oh, I like what you're doing there. That's good, Georgia. Georgia's doing some like zigzag lines. I think I might borrow that idea. I think I might copy that. That's lovely. Fantastic. You mean that my dad? Gracie, are you doing a repeating pattern? Yeah. Like we did before. Haven't we learned a lot about patterns today? Okay, right, I think I am ready to do my magic. Are you ready to do yours? Hang on a minute, Grace. Hold on, hold your horses. Right, <laughs> there we go. So, I have painted on one side of my paper, and now we're going to fold our paper in half now, and we're going to press it down really, really firmly, yeah? So all what that paint firm? mixes together. Firm. That's a good question. What do you think firm might mean? Huh? Yeah. You're going to press it quite hard. I gave my I gave my baby That's oh, great. Right, I'm going to open it up now. And you're right, Grace, when we open it up, we're going to have a butterfly. Are you ready? One, two, three. Wow. Wow. Lovely. Now, now I do what I this guy. Are you going to open yours up as well? No, I'm going to open Okay, we'll have a look at yours in a minute. So, that's my finished butterfly. Now you can decide then which way round it goes. I think I like it better that way round. And if you wanted to, you could even get your paintbrush and you could draw like a head and the antennae and the, and the body down the middle. That? Yes, of course you can. Um, and what this is called is symmetry. That line down the middle, our mirror line, when we folded it in half, it's created a reflection of the paint. Can you see, George? That's called symmetry. Right, have fun with your butterfly design. We would love to see the patterns that you come up with. If you could post them on EYFS Home on social media, that would be fantastic. Right, that's the last activity for today. So we will see you very, very soon for another fun day at EYFS Home. Bye. Bye.